Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about um, IT technician interview, like, you know, what type of things to expect in, in, in an IT interview. So let's begin. So the, the thing that you need to, um, news, news, I'll give you some tips on you know, how, what to expect and you know how to do well so when you're in an IT interview make sure you read the job description thoroughly and um, underline any skills that you have and um, and the skills that you've stated wrote down in your CV or application form and be prepared to talk about them skills and, and like um, give uh explanation as to how the how you have demonstrated those skills in the past in an it job they're more than likely i ask you and i'm saying what technologies have you used and you have experience with so group policy in tune endpoint manager like endpoint manager in tune as oad i'm saying autopilot i'm saying Etc. Like you know, somewhat like you know, Hyper V. Got any experience in creating virtual setting up virtual machines? You know, how are you with troubleshooting operating systems? You know, which ones have you used? So be willing to talk about that. And depending on what type of what level you're going at, like if it's first line, then mo most of the time in first in first line interviews, what you you'll notice is it'll be more about like what type of skills other than like you know technical skills you can bring to the job because most of the first and second line roles are but more, more tech second line is where you need to where it gets very technical so you need to know uh you need to have uh, be prepared to discuss like you know what what technical abilities you have and i'm saying you'll have to demonstrate then the interview but mostly first and second line have to um give a explanation on you know different technologies you've used and um they will ask you stuff like tell me about yourself you know um what attracted you to this position why are you leaving your current job and you know Sometimes you get an interview and they have competency-based questions where they'll read out a scenario like, tell us about it, what if the director of the company and a manager have the same issue, who are you going to go and help first? So trying to find out like how you prioritize and stuff. So you need to, and they like to throw some curveballs as well every now and then. But be prepared for everything, competency-based questions and just normal interview questions. Um, the most important thing that I've noticed in all these interviews is you have to, they always ask about communication skills, you know. In IT, communication skills are really, really, really useful. Um sometimes you can have all the technical knowledge but if you're not if you don't have if, if you don't demonstrate to the person that you don't have good communication skills then you won't end up securing the job you know what i'm saying because especially in a support role you need to be able to take difficult things like technical terms and t technical uh difficult uh uh, how do you say it? Like, you know, the difficult, uh, uh, no, comp complex piece of information, you know, and describe to a user what you've done in in a, in simple language, and to do, be able to do that, you need to be confident in your communication skills and speaking abilities, listening abilities. So that's when i know obviously you know what i'm saying if you're going for an it job you need to have some base level of understanding of how computer technology works and a few common ones i'm saying 
like what like you know office 365 you know what i'm saying but most of it, most of the work environments uh is it or windows environment sorry most in work most workplaces they have a windows environment or a microsoft you know what i'm saying software so it's good to get used to get used to all the microsoft software and stuff so another thing you can do is be honest yeah, and knowledgeable um, and try to be show your enthusiasm like you know what can you bring to what what do you offer what technologies you've worked with that they have not um, uh, what's it called uh, yet implemented and how you can be useful to them um, other than that, well, another thing you can do is, if you if you have a lot of technical experience, then talk about that as well, you know. But sometimes if you if you're blabbering on, like you know, a lot of people end up blab blabbering, like you know, talking, 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 that can come back to, come back to, you know, saying that can be a, um, that can work against you in an interview because they can pick pick on things which um you don't have any knowledge on and question you further then you'll be stuck there you know saying trying to explain stuff to them which they know that you don't know anything about so only talk about the stuff the everything that you know just be honest and open see that okay this is what i know and leave the ball in their court and see what they say you see uh what else? Another thing you can also have questions pre prepared for them and talk about your troubleshooting or problem solving abil abilities. You know what I'm saying? And how, or process, sorry. And if you can give an example, that's even better, you know? Um, and also don't panic, just breathe in, breathe out, like, you know, do some breathing exercises, drink plenty of water and take it easy. Talk slowly. If you, if you get nervous, talk slowly. And also what you can do is if they ask you a question and you don't know the answer to that question, it's all right to say an interview. Could you give me like a couple of seconds to. Uh, think about it that shows that you are methodical or thinker like you know what i'm saying you're you're taking it and you think before you speak you just don't blabber on you you think so that that's another useful thing always you can ask them like you know could you give me like a few seconds to think about this or could you repeat the question please and also have a notepad and a pen in front of you so when they repeat the question the second time around write it down you know what i'm saying so yeah, these are some of the tips that I feel like, you know what I'm saying, will be helpful in a IT technician interview. Uh, there's more. I'll make, an, uh, I'll make another video properly. There's just stuff on the top of my head. Um, I'll make another video soon about this. But I'll go into details about different questions that you may be asked. So thank you for watching this video. And if you have any other experiences, you know what I'm saying, um anything i missed please don't forget to include those in the comment section below i'd love to hear your feedback same and what experiences you've had in different job interviews because it will help other people who are watching this video and on youtube i'm saying it'll help them so please share your um experiences in the comment section thank you bye